welcome along to uh, another edition of uh, Balloon Tube with myself, Graham Lee. And uh, this is a, a little advert, really, just to tell you a couple of things. Um, I do run the uh, Balloon Forum, which is balloonchat.co.uk. Over there, there's over 120 step-by-step -step tutorials if you'd like to have a look. Um, we've got um, all the tutorials up on uh, Balloon Tube to have a look at. And um, if you are in the UK and would like to purchase some balloons, uh, we do have an online shop, which is uh, balloonartwholesale.co.uk. Hopefully that'll be coming up here. And um, hopefully balloon chats come up as well for the details there. And uh, if you would like to support us um, a little bit, that would be very much appreciated to keep the uh, balloon tube running and also to keep balloon chat um, online as well. And uh, so I've signed up to uh, buy me a coffee forward slash my balloon art. And um, there you can, um, if you wish, um, buy us a coffee or two and it helps us to keep the um, tutorials going. So that's the end of the advert and here we go with the main feature for this month. So it's bye from me. Cheerio becomes the main feature. Quick grow, get out of it. Bye. Welcome along to another edition of uh, Balloon Tube. And uh, this week we're going to do the uh, little bunny rabbit. Here he is. He's even got a little bunny towel. A little 12 for you. Right, so to start with, we need a 260 and leave about eight fingers uninflated. All right. Uh, you need two one finger bubbles. And uh, before I forget, if you could hit the like, subscribe button, that would be very nice and we appreciate it. So two uh, one finger bubbles. Uh, the knot will go around the second twist. And then you take the knot on one of the bubbles over the top and that turns it into two pinches. Right, so they're one finger bubbles. Now the bottom of the mouth is going to be a one and a half finger bubble. So just a little bit bigger. And then you're going to twist this one back into those two pinches. So hold it like this. Gently pull this bubble this way. And, uh, gently twist around a couple of times. And you end up like this. You now need a three finger bubble and a one finger pinch twist. Now you're going to twist these two together. So just gently hold it there. This bubble, pull it this way as you twist. Cut the twist. And there, you need another three finger bubble back to the three pinch twists at the front. All right, and this one will go into there. Now I do a bubble back to the, this back pinch twist. So um, it'll be slightly bigger than a three, probably about a three and a half finger bubble. All right. So that's a three and a half finger bubble. And a one finger bubble, which we're going to pinch twist again. And then a half finger bubble, which is going to go back to this pinch twist here. A lot of people just uh, attach the top of the head to this pinch twist, but I like a bit of a gap. I think it gives a little bit more character and definition to the bunny rabbit's head. So that will go around there like so. So we're in that. Looking a bit like this. Right. Now we need a, a one finger bubble and another one finger pinch twist. <laughs> twist these together. Yeah, the pinch twist, I think, twist together there. All right. And then you need uh, four finger bubbles. So it's, uh, Four finger bubble, another four finger bubble, and uh, the second one goes around this pinch twist. Wrap it around a couple of times so it doesn't come undone. You then need another four finger bubble, and two more four finger bubbles. There we go, uh, that's about four finger bubble, and your last one. So, there we go. Alright, so this twist will go around this one. This will be the bottom of the rabbit's feet. Push this bubble through there for the moment. Right. Deflate this in your favourite method, but whatever you do, don't use your teeth. <laughs> and uh, we'll just tie that up. Uh, I won't cut that for the moment because we've got to tie 160 to it. So this is what our uh, bunny rabbit is uh, looking like at the moment. We're going to join these together in a minute. So uh, there we go. So we now need um, a 160. And uh, I get all the um, the eyes, the um, paws, and uh, his white tummy and his tail is all from one 160 balloon. Uh, but I've just cut it up as he's looking around. Oh yeah, here we go. Right. So I've already. Let me just quickly show you. All right. For his eyes, it's a two two finger bubble we've inflated. Uh, for his paws, 
it's a three finger bubble we've inflated hopefully you can see that and then the rest of the uh, 160 we're going to uh, tie around the um, where the front paws are or the top paws we tie it around that big twist and then i find a six finger bubble works uh, we do a six finger bubble in the 160 and wrap it around the uh, the bottom of his body there. So just a quick measure, six finger bubble. That will go around here. And then we need um, two one finger bubbles. Two one finger bubbles. And a quick look. There you go. Two one finger bubbles. That goes back into that joint now. And then you take the 160 around those two one finger bubbles. Right. So just gently squeeze the air, make it a little bit softer and go all the way round. Let me just have a quick measure to tell you. Uh, on mine, it's roughly a four finger bubble. So it's about a four finger bubble. And uh, that will go around there. And then you don't need the rest of this 160, so get rid of that in your favorite method. And then tie it to the 260. There you go. And just to show that sometimes, only sometimes, I am a semi-professional. Where have I put them in there? Oh, no. Here we go. I do have my scissors, so uh, there we go. We'll cut that off there. Right. So this um, six-finger bubble, we're going to push it up between the two four-finger bubbles that are going to be the pulls for the uh, for the wrapping. So, like so. There we go. What we need to do is, um, we'll do is, um, um, I said these are his paws, they're not his paws really, are they? They're his, <laughs> I don't know what they are, it's part of the rabbit. <laughs> so, uh, let's, uh, let's put his eyes on now while I think about that. <laughs> so, uh, a two finger bubble, and uh, twist that, so they're two one finger bubbles, there we go, oh dear. His legs. <laughs> all that time that we put those things on can stick it out the rabbit's body and legs. <laughs> dear oh dear. Never, never mind. Right, so tie those up in your favourite method. I'll do another one just for, just for that. And then uh, let's get the scissors. There we go. I'll cut that off there. Right. And uh, so that will then get pushed. And because there's that slight gap with that half finger bubble, I just, I just prefer it. Right. Now at the moment, those eyes are actually pulling the, um, this one finger bubble, but when we put the ears on, we're going to put another uh, connection point there and tie it all in a little bit better. Right. So for the um, paws, they go at the bottom of his legs, just in case I confused you. Yeah. Right. You need a three finger bubble. Twist that in half, so they're uh, one and a half finger bubbles, kind of about the same size. There we go. And uh, one of these up, and then I'll make these into piece twists. So uh, take one of the um, slack pieces of the 160, wrap it all the way around, and then tie that back up, and uh, cut off all the excess, because you'll get a neater joint then. Right, there we go. Hopefully we get a neater joint. So those two one and a half finger pinch twists go through here and through here. Right. And there. Right, they go onto there and they tie it onto this one as well. Right. And twist those around a couple of times to make sure they're nice and secure. There we go. So your funny rabbit should be looking a little bit like this. There we go. There he is. And uh, got his little bunny towel, you see. Turn him around. Right, so now I need uh, his ears. So that's a 160. And um, you're only going to use half the balloon, so uh, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. I've got about eight feet of unplated. But I always do leave a, a long bit here. And I'll, I'll explain why. So that goes on the top pinch twist here. And um, I then take that and pull it really tight down to the second pinch twist. That helps to pull the whole back together, you see. There we go. And finally, that a little bit of excess. 
and then I find, you might find one bigger ears, but um, I squeeze the air and I do a ten finger bubble. So four, eight, that's about a ten finger bubble. And that goes down to the second pinch twist at the back. And then I do another squeeze the air, another four, eight, ten finger bubble. And that goes back to the, um, to the original uh, pinch twist that we tied on to. And if you want to, for luck, you could do another half finger bubble on the 160 back down to the um, other pinch twist just to um, give it a bit of extra support and just tap that around again. You don't have to, but I, I like to um, just be on the safe side. And then get rid of this, and you should have enough there to um, inflate and make another um, set of ears. Turn it all round. Um, I like to push the ears up. So the ears come up and then I just, just, just squeeze them to give them a little bit of shape. And uh, it's like a bit like a shock twist, I suppose. And there we go. Turn that around there. Straighten those feet this up so they're looking quite nice for you. So here he is. Alright. Let's keep the bloody towel. Uh, put the nose on. So I've used, now you could use, for the whiskers, I'll use a 160 black. And you could just do a, a two finger bubble in, in that and then use the rest for the um, whiskers. Uh, but I've used a 260 and uh, run it up to about one and a half fingers. Put that round there. And I do like to tie the nose to the um, 260 that we've used for the rabbit just to uh, make sure it doesn't come and done if the children are playing around a bit. Cut off that. And then uh, put that like so. And there's your little bunny rabbit's nose. All right. And then um, let's uh, stick his eyes out a little bit more. Yeah. And uh, then what we've got to do is uh, just put his whiskers on. So I've taken a 160 and I've cut it in half. Now this one I've already put a puff of air in, but um, I've left the other one to show you because I find if you put a puff of air in, all right, and tie that up, that's not enough air in there. So I hold on to that. I pull the uh, balloon up about halfway and then I put another puff of air in and then tie that up. And then I find that, that um, the whiskers hold their shape a little bit better. All right, and uh, cut off all the excess. So you end up with your two uh, buddy rabbits whiskers. Hold it in the centre, and then I put this underneath the rabbit's uh, mouth, and then just I take one side of the whiskers and wrap it around. So that goes under there, and I'm going to take one side, wrap it all the way around. So it ends up like this, and then just draw some eyes on. So the eyes, or where's my pen? Just uh, now, if you've watched any of my other uh, tutorials, you know I'm really good at artwork. <coughs> I think I've got a little bit better over the years, but not brilliant. But anyway, so draw some eyes on. And, uh, and a, a little circle and two, uh, two eyelashes. So, uh, and then I do like to put the white heading marker on as well, just to give it a little bit of uh, definition. There we go. That looks like this. Hopefully you can see. And I'm going to just put the, uh, the white heading. And I always do a couple of dots. And then I'll, I'll see if I can move forward a bit, just so that you can see what we've done. Right. Yeah. So here's our little um, bunny rabbit. I'll just give a little twirl round for you. There you go. And uh, let's just uh, bring one of the eyes a little bit closer. There's only zooming in. So well, I think I've taken some of the light out of there, haven't I? 
I'm not quite sure, hopefully you can see it. All right, there you go. So thanks for watching, and uh, we might see you uh, on another edition of Balloon Tube sometime soon. So it's bye from me, and it's bye from the rabbit. Bye, cheerio.